Meet Mr. Tappy Micro. Look at that thing, man. That is the coolest lure I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Holy mackerel. Hey, what's up everybody? Joe Simpson here. I have some very, very exciting things to share with you today. This is definitely going to be a fisherman's video. So, in my hand, I have a package, and you can't see it, but I have a package from Australia, which is the only place that I can find that can sell some of these Japanese lures that I love. So there's a couple of lures that I've already shared with you. There's been some that I've ordered and received, but my friend Pat did me the favor when he was ordering some things and said, why don't you jump on and get a few things you want and we can maximize our shipping. So what I have today is four well, three lures, but really four separate individual lures. So you guys have all heard me talk about the Pompadour before, the Pompadour Micro. Well, I've got another Pompadour Micro here today, and this one is actually a new color, and I think it's just super, super wicked. And I'm gonna give you close-ups of all these little lures in a second, but I'm just gonna hold them up one at a time and kind of go through them briefly. This is the Pompadour Micro in a new color. I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, walk through these first and then I'll go and give you the close-ups as we go through. The next one is just a, a really really neat lure. So one of my viewers tipped me off on this one and I had already known about this lure and looked at it online and decided I was gonna get it. But this thing is so cool. I, I, you know the action this thing gives. I'm gonna play a little video as I'm talking about it here and unboxing it. Um, it's called the Tappy and in particular it's the Tappy Micro and it's actually the cutest little thing you've ever seen in your life and i hope it is just wreaks havoc on the fish <laughs> have you ever seen anything like this before ever it's got this little tail and i think this thing just flips back and forth and taps against the body it's got this great dressed hook really really long strings and when this thing's it's a wake bait so with this when this thing's in the water it just kind of goes across the top of the water and all this stuff underneath is just doing all kinds of nasty dances and stuff just tantalizing the fish but yeah this is going to be kicking so i'm going to put this one up close here in a minute and the two other baits that i have they're similar there's two different sizes and they're made by jackal this one is called the 007 r and look at the lip on that you guys see how that's going up so what this bait does is it actually sinks it's not a topwater lure it'll sink but when you reel it in it kind of works its way to the top and if you get it up to the top this thing will flit and jump and come out of the water and it looks like a little minnow trying to get away you ever see like minnows just jumping and dancing around on the water and there's a bass or something underneath chasing them around it does exactly that dance so i've got this one which is about two and a half three inches long and but i have this one which is really cool this will be perfect for the bfs <laughs> look at that little teeny weeny thing this thing's going to just be a killer now these hooks look a little shaky so i might be pulling those off and replacing them um, the hooks on this one look pretty solid these look like more like a, an owner or some other type of real branded hooks this is a wake bait i don't even know who designed this what was he thinking or what was he drinking or what the heck i mean look at this thing it's got a little lip beautiful paint job sparkles on top fluorescent spray paint up in there. Look at those big bug eyes, little stripes on the body. I mean, this thing is so cool. It's got decent looking hooks. It's dressed to the nines. This thing is gonna kill the fish. It's a topwater wake bait. I cannot wait to throw this on my BFS rod and reel. I think this would just kill the smallmouth, and I think it's gonna do great in ponds, creeks, rivers, you name it. This thing's gonna be the bomb. This is my new pompadour. The Pompadour Micro. Look at that color. Look at the paint job. That looks like a new car. And the only thing I was going to say I don't like about this lure is the trailer hook. It's one of those little dual frog hook things. And I'm going to take that off right away and put a number 10 treble because I just dig the trebles a lot more. But that paint job and that color, that looks like a little bit of a bumblebee, some type of beetle, a bug. That's going to be killer. The other two lures are the Jack All riser baits. This is the 007. So this thing right here is gonna swim underneath the water, but when you swim it fast enough, it'll actually come up to the top surface and start cutting across the top surface like it's a bait fish trying to escape. 
So this thing is going to be just rocking. I, I just can't say enough good things about the way these baits look. It's going to go right on my BFS rod and reel, and that's going to be my ultralight guy, and he's going to just crush it. So four new baits from Japan. I can't wait to get these out and use them. I just wanted to share them with you today. Um, I'm going to go do a meetup group this week. Um, it's a smallmouth club of Northern Virginia. And I found them through meetup.com and I was looking for a group of people that have common interests that are in the area. You know, I don't necessarily want to do um, tournament fishing and spend a lot of time that way, but I would like to meet people that like what I like, that do what I do, and could maybe tip me off to good waters or take me to a place that I haven't been before. So I'm going to a meetup group on Wednesday at 7 this week. And I might try to film there if they'll let me, if it's not weird or awkward. But the topic of discussion for this week is going to be top water. So I'm going to bring all this stuff with me and show some of this stuff as a show and tell. And I bet these guys will get pumped. Something you guys might want to consider when you're out thinking about, like, how do I get in touch with people that do what I do? Because I can't be the only fishing freak out there, right? So it's nice to find people that like what you like, that get just as excited about it. Because sometimes my family will sit there and go, dude, Dad, you're weird. You're so weird. You're so into fishing. I don't get it. And I, I really don't get it either, but it's just fun. So it's hard to explain. I don't really care to explain it to too many people. I just like it. I do it. So um, I'm going to go to this meetup group. I'll let you know how it goes. And I bet it's going to be really cool and fun. And I bet these guys will appreciate seeing some of this really neat stuff. So I just wanted to do a show and tell on some new lures. Um, I'm getting excited about going fishing this weekend now, especially. Looks like rain's moving in on us for Tuesday and Wednesday. So I'll probably get out there Thursday if there's some time at lunch break and do a little bit of casting around on some ponds. And I have some new stuff coming up and something special to share with you before too long. And I'm really excited about that. But that's still in the making. And it will be probably at least another week before I get that all settled in. So anyway, uh, you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed looking at these lures and I will talk to you guys all soon. Um, thanks so much guys for watching again and I'll see you later.